Now we're going to get into using VLOOKUP. Okay, there are four parts to VLOOKUP. There's the search key. We're going to make this that uh, patient name. There is a range. That is the area that you want to be searched with the first column of the range being number one. Okay, that is why I put the numbers on the top of the uh, other sheet uh, from our temp uh, template upper extremity sheet. On sheet number two, I labeled it as one, two, three, four going across because it makes it a lot easier for you to identify which one you want going forward. Uh, index is the number. This is what I'm talking about. So if we go to template upper extremity, sheet two, the column number is going to be based off of that third value that you give it. So if we said number two, it's going to give us whatever answer is in this that matches the person's name. Okay. Then the last sorted, I always put false because I want it to be an exact match with that patient's name. So we'll come back to the template. We're going to go to the eval sheet. On date of birth, we're going to press equals V lookup. All right. The search key is going to be the dynamic cell that we just uh, programmed on the last video. The range is going to be from sheet two, A2 to H2. But again, we want it to update and search all of the cells. As you can see, when we delete that two, now it goes all the way down, all right? And then again, we press comma to get to the index. We want it to do the date, so we're going to do uh, number two, and that's going to tell you that's the answer that it's pulling up so far. If we do false, it'll make sure that it comes up with that patient name, okay? Now you can see that that has successfully updated. Okay, what you want to do now is that you want to update each one of these. When you update each cell, we want B2 to be the cell that is searched every time. If we come here and we drag it over, you're going to see that it searches for C2. But we want it to be B2 every time because we want it to be based on the patient's name that it searches and not the date of birth. So it's much easier if you come up here, press control or function F4, and it adds the dollar signs. What the dollar signs does is that it makes it so it's locked out for that cell. So if I copy and paste it into the next cell, it won't change. Because if we look here, you can see that where we originally had A2 to H, in the next cell that we just dragged over, and now it says B2 to I. So we don't want either of those two to change, and it's also looking up from C2. So we have B2 locked out. We're going to do the same thing here. Press function, F4, and now each of those is locked out. You could manually put in the dollar signs if you want to, but this is much easier. Now, when we drag it out, you're going to see that it does this every time if we go all the way over. What you want to do here is that you want to update the column, right? So if we want the email, let's come back over here. Now we see that the email is underneath number column three. Come here, click, and do three. Since we copy and pasted, we know that each column is just going to increase by one. But if you want to make your uh, headers look nice, you can you know, change all this stuff around and you just need to know which column that you're going to um, be putting all of that information into. So that's why I label it at the top. It makes it a lot faster for you to just look over that and get to where you want to be. All right, that is step number four. Next is how to make this look nice. Because if we come here and we click delete, now you'll see that it comes up with hashtag NA. To get rid of that problem, I'm going to teach you guys how to either use if or if error to make it look nice and clean. All right, check out the next video. Follow along.